Awesome. Thanks, Rusty. Hey, everyone. Um, it's great to be here today. Uh, obviously, wish we could all be in person, but I'm actually really excited for us to... This is super cool. This is like the first time that NGConf is going to be online, um, so I'm, I'm really excited about this. Um, so I'm, I'm one of the co-founders of StackBlitz. Uh, for those of you who may not have heard of it, uh, you might have actually used it. If you've ever gone to like the Angular docs and run one of the live examples, that's actually running on our stuff. Uh, we basically have VS Code running in a browser, uh, lets you really rapidly uh, build and prototype and debug Angular applications. Uh, so in the next five minutes, I want to actually show you some of the stuff that we've shipped this year and also some of the stuff that we're going to be shipping later this year. Uh, and 2020 is turning out to be really one of our biggest years yet. Uh, so to kind of give you an idea of some of the stuff that's that's uh, we've, we've been shipping the past few months, we've now got themes, so you can bring your favorite theme, uh, you know, switch between various themes. Pretty soon you're going to be able to actually, instead of asking your friends like, hey, what theme is that? You'll actually be able to just go to their profile and one click, uh, have it be your theme too. Really cool. Uh, we also have, you know, great productivity boosters, you know, from VS Code like auto import and Zen mode. So you can just kind of get rid of all of your distractions and just focus on your code. And one of the big things about StackBlitz is we want to be the fastest place for you to get your ideas into your keyboard and then get a result from the computer. And so speed has always been really our number one feature and, and always will be. And our team's been working really hard on uh, making our stuff even faster than it was. And we've actually beat our rebundling speeds by 5x. So when you type in code and, uh, and when you load a project, uh, that stuff is just like near instant at this point. And we've also reworked our UI from the ground up uh, to be incredibly snappy. And so I'll show you that in a little bit here. But uh, the, the speed improvements are especially important for, you know, for us Angular developers. One of the big things this year, right, is Ivy, uh, the super cool new technology. And on Stackless, it is incredibly, it's like the fastest environment on the planet to be building Ivy applications, right? And so, again, this is just some of the stuff we've shipped in the past 60 days. Um, and we have a whole lot more that's coming down the pipe. And I'll get to that in a, in a couple of minutes here. Um, but while we go ahead, let's take a quick test drive. I want to show you, uh, I'll show you this stuff in action. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start on the Stackless homepage. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to start a new Angular app. Opening, uh, I think the, my internet might be a little bad. This is usually like instant. Let me, uh, let me open up another tab. See if, see, oh no. I get anywhere? <laughs> yeah, it looks like my internet connection is unstable. I knew there it. There we go. Okay, I think, uh, I think I might be back. Okay, all right, so I think my internet just went out for a second there. But anyways, all right, so we've got a, a project running here. You see it's booted up. So let's go ahead and start with uh, auto-import. And so in, from the Angular core package, uh, they have a version uh, export in there. So I'm going to go ahead and type in version. And you'll see we have the auto import here. I can hit tab. Boom, it automatically pulls that in, right? Pretty neat. And uh, so I got this object object here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, type full because that will give us the full version. You can see we run Angular 9.1.0, which is super cool. Um, again, we've uh, got uh, uh, our theme toggling. So if you know when you do presentations, uh, or sometimes uh, you know in the middle of the day, the dark theme might not be what you want. You can just one click switch to light theme. You know, just really fast. This is even faster than like VS Code will switch your theme. Um, just really neat. Got Zen mode. Gets all of your uh, the the, the uh, miscellaneous UI out of the way. So it's just your code and the preview. Uh, really nice feature there. And you'll kind of notice that the UI is just really snappy. It feels kind of like you're behind the wheel of like a supercar. <laughs> and that's uh, very intentional. Our, um, our, our UI, uh, uh, our main UI folk, uh, uh, Tomac, has been working really hard on this. Took him a couple of months to really rebuild this from the ground up. Um, so it just feels like a really amazing experience. Um, so of course, uh, again, us Angular developers to enable Ivy, right? If I want this application to be compiled with Ivy, we've made that really easy. You just go to settings underneath Angular CLI. You can click enable Ivy. And uh, you can see down here, it's uh, getting our IV uh, compiler set up with NGCC, getting this ready to rock and roll. If I open up my TS config, it actually updated that stuff in here. Um, and you'll see this has been updated. This is actually the IV compiled application now, right? That was like super easy to set up. Um, and so the hot reloads are even faster. So let's go ahead and just type some stuff in, see how fast that hot reloads, right? It's pretty crazy. 
Um, so again, we want Stackwitz to be the fastest environment for you to write code in and get your ideas uh, into the computer and actually live. And so our team actually wanted to make something for you all. And it's kind of fun, kind of cool. Um, so I'll show it to you here. Um, it's this thing. And you might notice this is the same thing that's on my t-shirt. So you might be wondering, what the heck is this? Um, and so this is actually a real JavaScript program in here. Uh, this is all valid. Every single line of this is valid JavaScript. And what this program does, this is the cool part, is that it actually, right? So what's cool is I'm going to go ahead, let me, uh, let me split the screen real quick here. I'm going to split this over here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, because it's an SVG, I can copy and paste the text elements. I'm going to copy this, paste it in my JavaScript console here so I can, you can kind of see all of the code that uh, came there. Again, every single line, totally valid. And when I hit enter, it uh, procedurally generates this image again. And, I, and you can keep doing this over and over and over. So it's kind of cool. It's like an infinite printing loop, right? So uh, we have these t-shirts. We're going to hand them out. But um, uh, we have, we, we ordered them anyways. We've got like a thousand of them. So if email eric at staffist.com, we'll send one of these to you. We also have this like pretty cool poster here. Um, but uh, just something fun and cool. And, you know, this is actually one of those, uh, actually quite a difficult problem to make this work. It, it took, you know, maybe a thousand iterations to get it just right because it's a, a very hard chicken and egg problem to make something like this. Um, it took us a couple of hours on a plane flight. Whereas if we were working on our local environment, it would have taken, you know, at least a day, if not more. And so that just kind of goes to show, you know, the experience that we're, that we're building with StackBlitz. We want to be able to enable you to create uh, your best work uh, without having the impediment of, of a slow environment uh, in your way, right? So that's, uh, that's kind of an update on, on what's currently available on production right now. I um, want to quickly uh, tell you about some stuff that, that we, uh, we're launching today and something that's coming uh, uh, in a little bit. But first, I need to, to, uh, need to know if uh, you all can keep a secret. And actually, if you can keep two secrets, because we got we have two things that we want to tell you about. Um, I'm hoping the answer is yes. So the first thing is actually uh, uh, one of the biggest requests you all have for us is, can I run StackBlitz inside of my company? I can answer is finally yes, as of today. We now support running StackBlitz on-prem. Uh, or in a VPC, we can even have this air gapped on prem, and we've scaled this to the largest companies in the world. And so, if you're interested in this, if you want to get Stackblitz set up at your company, you can just shoot an email to enterpriseatstackblitz.com. That actually just goes straight to me, and so we'll get the ball rolling on getting you and your company set up with Stackblitz. Uh, and the other thing we're working on this year is actually kind of bonkers, considering we are an online IDE because it's a desktop <laughs> application. Um, and it's uh, uh, pretty interesting. It's not, it's not like anything you've, you've ever seen with a node using, not having to install it and get it configured. Same thing with NPM. Uh, it even reduces the size of your node modules. All the stuff that stackless.com gives you, the speed and iteration cycles, but as a desktop app tied to your local FS, right? Um, and so we've got more than we're going to announce on this, uh, and it'll be coming. Uh, the alpha is going to open up this summer. So if you're interested in that, you can join at desktop at stackblitz.com. And um, that's all we have for you today. I uh, wanted to give a shout out to our team, Albert, Quinton, Sam, uh, Tomac, and Albert. Um, these guys, everything that you just saw, uh, uh, and Dom, excuse me, so all, these, those, all those guys have uh, really been working hard on the stuff you just saw and all the stuff that's coming. Um, and uh, uh, really want to give a huge shout out to ng-conf. Thank you for having us, and thank you to all of you. Uh, we would not be here today if it wasn't for the Angular community. And so if you ever, ever have ideas or questions for us, uh, give us a shout. Um, yeah, we're, we're more than happy to, to try and get your ideas into the product, fix any bugs, or whatever have you. So thank you so much. That's all for me.